So, hi everybody, and welcome back to the C++ tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 98, and in this video we are talking about functions with const references. And I already created here a function definition. Let's see, it has a return type of a string, and I called it return name. And we can see I used here a const string reference with the name input param and then a const int reference and a float reference which is not const so they both are const and float and uh, here in our body i just say i use this input name param here and i created here a new variable it's a normal string variable and i just assigned this name to this uh this input par name param to this name so i just get this one and I returned just this input param. With other words, this line of code, I just made it for nothing. But that is only a demonstration because we want to talk here more about this const string reference. And we want to talk about it, why they are using const string reference and for what is that. So let's get started. And of course, here on top, you can see this is just a forward declaration. This is the same line like this one here. And here I created some, uh, this is just here. I call this function here and I print it out. So you can see this is just stdc out with an output. And I can call, of course, here the function too. And I use this created variables here as arguments. And these are just normal. Uh, variables which are matching this type of course string string int here int here and float here and float here so then so i can call this there is all right and when i start this thing here it works so that was our setup so that we can talk now about the const why are they using const string reference here and you will see this a lot in functions when you are uh, on the web or coding yourself. And we have already talked about references, right? So string references. The string references, just a reminder, are most time used so that you can change backwards changing the caller. What I mean with backwards changing again? So backwards changing was let's make a backward changing with this one because here we can't, there is a const in before, but here is no const. So this is that what we already know, it's a float uh, reference. So I can backwards change this number here. I, it is assigned 00f and now I change it here in my function call. I just get this variable name here, copy this one. And then I just write, for example here, assign a new value. Let's make here a fun value, like something so. And now I changed this value from the caller, right? So here on top, it uses this calculated number. The calculated number starts with zero, zero. It jumps here in my function, right? My function said, okay, I use this variable and I assign it a new value. And this here is connected to the this uh, calculated number. This strange thing is how is this collected, uh, connected again to this number? Because is has it is a reference. A reference means this one here, this uh, variable name here, and this variable name here has the same storage. Also behind the scene, they use the same storage, which means if you change here something, uh, here, uh, if you change here something, then this will be have later an effect backwards as well. So, and we can test it. Let's return this time, not this input param here. Let's return our calculated anything. And so far we know all it, right? We already, uh, let's see, what's the problem here? Okay, I said here string return value. Of course, I can't, uh, I can't, uh, return this one that was bad for me all right no worry input name param back and then okay if this is not working let's print it just out that's another way to show it 
and I just print now this calculated number here out. Let's oops, control Z. What was that? Uh, calculated anything. Let's copy this one and paste this here. So, and now uh calculated anything calculated oh no okay i made a little mistake i wanted control set control set and now i'm back at the right number okay calculated number paste it here and yeah and let's make here in front a new line so it's not uh it's not overlapping with the other number and we don't understand where we are so with that said, you can see now this calculated number here, which is changed during this function here, because this one is backwards changing that what we call. And that's a special case. Careful about this one. When you are programming, keep this all time in your mind that this can happen when we are using reference. Most time it is intended, but sometimes at a beginner you might forget this and you see i started with the value zero zero here and now it's five three three not because i assigned it here anywhere i assigned here and this one is a new variable actually created here but it is a reference variable and that's why it is changed so and the last note here for this change sometimes they assign values to created variables here for example later what i mean with that sometimes you see things like that as they the uh, string and uh, name catalog name or something like that catalog name and something like that and if you see something like that oh this is just a declaration and yeah and we learned oh, it should still have a default value, but many times you will see this is not the case. And later they assign here a value, for example, here through references, something like that. Keep this in mind, but let's go back to our const. Why we use then this const? The const, we already know this uh, keyword const. Const means don't change the value. Uh, so, which means here we have a const string input param and this one is connected to this name and name is has the value coder so i call here name it will uh, it will here connect this one this here is now connected with this one because this is a reference right we learned this is a reference is connected now they use now the same storage with the caller and but not and but we have here this word const and the const make now the difference that it says you can use this variable but you are not allowed to change this variable that's the normal behavior of a const we already know this right so if you make for example a normal const variable let's make here faster normal const variable uh, here first int my telephone number this one you already know right uh and let's assign it this one now this variable you can change right because it's a normal variable uh, which is an int and my telephone number and let's write this one big here and now i say i want that you should not change this value what i am doing is just write a const now you can't change this value but you can use this variable so let me show you this so you can use this variable for example um uh, for example just printed my telephone number out right so just print my telephone number out. i'm using this variable so you can use the variable but you can't um for example change the variable, uh, variable. so if i try to change uh, my variable that's not allowed then i get a problem and they say here uh, must be modifiable l value also expression this is here our expression and uh, must be a modifiable l value and we talked a little bit about l values already l values are variables who has a storage yes that we know and modifiable means this one 
is not modifiable because we used cons. Cons says you can't change. Modifiable means you should be able to change. And that's not possible. That's okay. So far, we noticed this was just a reminder. And now we go here to our string. And this const here in string reference has the same function like here. It says you, can, you have here a string reference, but the value of this um, variable here, you can't change. So, okay, we understand it. So we can't change this value, what we get here. Fine, then we can use it just, right? That's the normal case. And indeed, I'm just using it here. I use it as a return value. But if I try to change this const uh, reference string, as they say, let's write here uh, input name. So I'm going to try to change this one and it is a string reference, it will not work as well because we use anything here, oh, right here. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, super. And you see we have a problem here. It is not allowed when I hover over it. It says here const anything, it's not uh, allowed. So because as long as it's a const we are not allowed to change. So I think we know this, that now const is only here to tell us, to tell us the programmer, you can use a variable, but you can't change the value of this variable. All right. So this is our first understanding because later with const, there are cases where we are even able to change it in uh, not direct ways in other ways but for right now const means all time the same it means you just can't change the variable uh, value the variable not the variable the value of the variable so with this understanding that makes easy why it makes easy because we, if we see a const and it's in front so it's connected here uh, in front and that's very important too later we will have something uh, like that the const stays here in the middle something like that one and so but this one we are ignoring right now when it's in the front the const then it means it is connected to this string so this type and this value of this type uh, should be not changed so one uh, last question which we have to discuss is why they use const with string references so why they use const for example in normal variables we know in normal variables they just don't want change the value right and that's the same case in this uh, references too with references and parameters they don't want that they should change the value because we learned references can backwards change references, right? That was this uh, strange example that I made before with this float. Here we have a float and I can assign here, uh, where was it here? I assign here a new value and this value is called backwards change. Uh, not called, I call it backwards change because it's reference. And what I mean with that is the caller here, this one is now changed after I changed it here. And why I pointing this out because a normal float, let's say without a reference, would be not changed. If I use here a normal float, a normal call, it would be not backwards changed. So which means here I have as the start point zero zero, then this zero zero would be called without a reference here. And it's a copy. And then you can use the zero zero here like this one, assign a new value, but this new value will be only, uh, uh, is only, only available in this, uh, uh, in this scope, which is here. And at this caller is still zero zero with a normal call, but that was the problem, not the problem. That was the intention of reference you use a reference to say okay perhaps i want to change the caller that's my intention all right so if it's your intention that's perfect 
but sometimes you don't want that. What they do, we just learned it. Okay, I don't want, I still want use the variable, this one, but I don't want that they should change the color here. And I make this float a const as well. So it's very easy to make it a const, but we have then one problem. First of all, we can't assign a value. Const means don't change, please, the value. Just use it, but don't change it. So I can't use this line anymore. Okay, I get rid of it. Perfect. And now I have one more problem. Of course, I have to choose uh, right here on my forward declaration const as well. That's not the big problem. That was easy. But another problem. So when I say I don't want change backwards this value. So a general question, why we make a reference. This is the question. Why we use a reference then? I mean, that makes no sense, right? It's instead of writing here const float reference calculate, we just could use this without reference, this without a float, and perfect. This would have the same effect like const int, uh, for example, const float reference. And this one is even easier that that looks here a little bit more um yeah danger because we have a reference that can uh backwards overwrite our call and we have problems so this solution here it's actually much much better so the big question is why the hell they make this strange structure so i change now all and i make my life very easy i just delete now all and i think yeah that's the way to go and still it's right it's not wrong that's the way to go if you want make it very easy of course i have to write this one back here so and with that see what i have here string uh, this one here so with that said i am almost good what i'm doing wrong anything it's wrong here no it's not it's fine you see i made now my life easy i get rid of all const i get rid of all references here and now i can just call this values here and use them like a normal function call they get here copied at these places they are used or changed at these places. Now, if I change it, it doesn't matter, right? I no, I'm not changing these values. I just use it at this scope here. Now I can, now I can, uh, I don't know, input name param. Now I just can write a new value for it. And this, this one will not affect this one here because it's not anymore connected. It's not a reference. The reference here at this point is not there. I have no reference. Perfect. So the question is why the programmers, and you will see this a lot, are all time using this const reference here. Because const reference makes no sense. If you have this version, which is much more safe, easier to see, easier to understand. Why the hell, let's make one example, are they using const and then string and then reference and make the, the that's a lot of more difficult than this one and has the same effect like the other ones here why they are doing this that's the big question and the answer is for that actually there are different kind of answers but one of the answer is they are just avoiding copying uh the value which is called what i mean with they are avoiding copying the value so let's uh, compare again here a little bit one more time so if i'm not using const like here and here i'm not using this one that what we know for a normal function call right here in this case this value edge what it's used here on top edge edge here on top is later copied to this new declaration behind the scene copy means um 
the value, for example, h is 18, you get a copy of the number 80 and we assign it to your, um, to your variable, which has its own storage. So behind the scene, this value here creates a new storage and this value 18 is copied in this new storage. So you can, because of that, you can change here the value and uh, assign a new value or use this value here and it will not affect this one here on top. That's not happening with the string reference because if you are using a string reference, for example, this name here, this one is connected here behind the scene. This uh, variable here will be not created a separate storage. It will connect to the same storage like the caller, which is here. So this this name here and this string reference has the same storage. And that's why we can backwards change the input. So, and now uh, this const me just like before mentioned, uh, you should uh, just use this one, but not change the value. But what is, what's the important point here? The, uh, the, I mean, the important point here is they try to avoid this copying. Copying means they say, I want not that you use a copy. For example, let's go back to this easy example here. They say here you are copying and creating behind the scene a new storage. For example, for this variable, then you are copying this variable here and then you can do whatever you want with that. That's even easier, even better. But the downside is behind the scene, you have created storage and assigned the value to this new created storage. And this process costs performance. And in this case, actually not really with int because it depends all time of the type or classes. Here in our case is this example, it costs nothing actually, but in future we will learn classes. For example, when we watch this first project CPP, CPP file here, this is not a class, but there will be uh, files and classes which has later, let's say, over 100,000 line of codes and classes can contain functions or and uh, other classes, other things and other things and other things. Uh, cl classes can, can contain almost all, uh, all things, right? And the problem is if a class has over 100,000 line of codes, they say we don't want to copy a class. And think about a class like this int, the float and uh, the string, they are classes too, but they are, let's say, smaller classes. But if you create in future your own custom class with 100,000 line of codes, uh, many programmers say, wait a minute, wait a minute. If we copy now here from one place, let's say here, let's create my class. Let's make just a fun class. Let's call this my my hundred i one million uh, class something like that my hundred hundred thousand line class right so something like that this is my hundred thousand line class and let's create a variable name for this class a class is similar we will learn this in future like just a type just custom created and I call this one now here too long to copy. All right. So, and now I created this too long to copy and I'm passing it as a function. Let's pass it here in this one too long to copy. Let's change our Ignore this red cripples here because we have not created a class, but ignore, assume this is a class, right? So let's continue. And now I have, of course, changed my definition. And I say here, uh, for example, what is this? My class. Okay. My hundred line class. Oh my God. Now I have, of course, write this long param here as well. Let's go here one line below and write it here. 
okay i copy this one because i need here the same type right and here a new name also will will cost performance <laughs> will cost performance all right so you see now i created this super super class with hundred thousand line of codes and i use this class here and if I use it in a normal way, this class here, which is called from here and here with 100,000 line codes, will be copied here. And the programmers in general say, no, no, 100,000 line of codes goes sending to a function, copying behind the scene, creating uh, this hundred, this uh, class could contain million, let's say, 100 lines of code has over 5,000 other kinds of variables, which cause again, uh, storage, 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 storage. They say, no, that's, that's, this is not a go. That's not possible. We are breaking our whole program. So, and they say, okay, now we make our reference. So first of all, they say, we change this one to our reference. They add here this add sign. They say, now you are a reference. And uh, then they say, but it's danger when we use the class with a reference because it can backwards change variables or anything. And that is also not what we want. So, so the most programmers say. So to avoid that, we are creating saying cons. Use the class, but, but please don't change it, All right? So you see in the end, this thing, what I create here, is nothing than uh, it's similar like this normal call here. Let's say like this normal float call, but with the difference, you are not creating a copy. So that's the reason why they make this const and this reference here. And if you understand that, that's very good. If not, no problem. Read this a little bit in documentation. Ask in the web why they use reference with const to understand this theory a little bit more in detail. When we learn classes and in future we will, then you will see what I mean. Classes can have easy more than 100,000 line of codes and contain almost all codes what we learned so far easy and much more. And yeah, to avoid this copying just because just uh, this is one reason why they use these references and you will see uh, in many functions they use many many references because they don't want that uh, the new variables all time create uh, storage 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 behind the scene they don't want that behind the scene it costs performance performance <laughs> performance because c++ should run very fast as well later in big projects and so and that's and this references is one way to make it fast instead of creating all time new variables just refer refer to uh, already created the storage and use this one so i hope that was not too complicated but this is very important i think to understand because like i said uh, programmers will use most time functions many, all, almost all time with this reference and if they don't want backwards changeable they will use it all time with this const reference so with this two in combo there that uh, you will see this a lot and yeah if you have any questions or any complaints like all time write it in the comments and with that said see you in the next and good luck